hello guys welcome to my channel i know it's been a long time since i've posted something but ta -da! here i am so as we all know today is halloween day happy halloween Ooh. oops i forgot i'm a catholic we do not celebrate halloween so that's something i'm going to talk to you a little bit today i'm not going to take much of your time i'm just going to explain to you a little bit about halloween so basically halloween before it was called this name it was called all hallows eve this was well celebrated in the church as a night vigil that would take place for all the souls that have died and this has been going on for centuries celebrating all those who are recognized by the church as saints and all those who died in the love of Christ for all those who died for Christ and we know Christ is the resurrection so on this day we pray for all the souls who departed for Christ so before I talk more about this I'm gonna do a small prayer for you by St. Gertrude it says like this most of the time we are supposed to say this prayer at the end of mass so that we can pray for all the souls who have departed the prayer goes like this eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the mass to say throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen and this is a prayer by saint gertrude this is mainly done you know every time we do a, a mass and we do this prayer it saves thousands and thousands of souls in purgatory so we need to keep on saying this prayer at the end of every mass and also we know for halloween a lot of us we curve pumpkins you know we put ghost faces and witch and everything but as catholic like i said we do not celebrate halloween but we celebrate all hallows eve in commemorating of the all saints day on the next day so instead of carving faces scary faces witches and everything what we've done today was we carved the crosses to represent the resurrection because we know even though it's all about the dead on those on that on in today we are celebrating the resurrection that christ brings to everybody so we know christ is the light so what we did we put the crosses we know the crosses jesus you know on mount calvary the cross and the two things and we put light inside and just to represent that christ is the light that is inside our hearts so even though we may not be talking about this from a perspective of those who have departed but just our hearts we know that in the book of ezekiel the prophet was told to bring back the dead the dry bones so even our soul sometimes can be dead and then needs to be resurrected back to life and only christ can do that so we put the light to represent that and also another challenge we've done today was we put intercession we wrote intercession to all the saints we know because we know the following day after the all hallows eve is all saints day we put all the intercession prayer we've written and we put them in here we put in the little this one so that we can ask for the intercession from all those saints and also another thing we've done today was we made baskets as well because there are so many things we haven't really learned about and some of them they are really good if you look deep into their lives they're really meaningful and they can change our lives so we put a basket we made a basket of all the saints that we need to learn and then all the saints we've already learned all the saints we've already known so i know it's been a long time since i've done a video but i've done one today and thank you guys for all the love and support and for keep on coming through every single time and i will try my best to do more videos bye